not been able to stop thinking about this challenge since the last 60 seconds video that I uploaded. I want to try to make it to 200 days. 100 days is easy. We can do that in our sleep, but 200 days, that's next level type stuff. I don't know if I can actually make it that far. That's why it's been on my mind this whole time. I want to see if we can one take Jay this and get to 200 or more days. If you guys cool that down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. So the reason why I have to one take Jay this is because each run, like if you try to get to 100 days, each run takes about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on like how fast you can read or the situations that you're up to. Or if you're just trying to speed run through it, then just go to every five days, give them water and food and just keep it going. But even then, that takes at least 20 minutes because it takes a while for you to transition from day to day. But let me try to get Mutant Mary Jane in this scenario. If I don't get her, then I might have to restart this because I think that she's crucial in order to at least make it to 150 days. But let's get Dolores too, because we need all the adults in the building. Let's get the suitcase, because that means we're going to get extra stuff when we finally go into the bunker. And where is my ugly son? There you are, you ugly bastard. So let's grab him. Let's get the flashlights. I was actually trying to get the med kit. And I need all the protection that I can get. Because these raiders, once they start, they don't stop. So I'll get you. And the freaking axe was in the other room. Let me grab that, though. And food and water, for sure. For surezies. And I never say for surezies. So get you. Get that. A little bit of food, why don't you? And throw that in there. What else am I missing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come to papa. Come to papa. Get that. Get that. And I am satisfied with that. All right. So we got everything we need. We got all the family. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a bunch of stuff. Let the quest for 200 days challenge begin. And I'm not editing that part out. I'm not going to do it. I have too much on my mind. I'm not even kidding you all. I was tossing and turning in the bed. I was like, how can I make it to 200 days? Like, it's almost impossible. Once it's past day 100, it feels like the raiders don't stop coming. But we got the gas mask. We got the lock. And we got some ammo. We got the music. And we got the radio. Hey, it might be my lucky day. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to send out Timmy. And if he dies, then he dies. I really don't care. Prepare to scavenge. And what in the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the walls? They are driving us crazy. Is something crawling in the air vents? Okay, you know what? Let's just do this to calm everybody down. And first of all, I need to calm myself down. Because I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like since we started this video, I haven't been able to breathe. But that's how into this I am. Like, I really want this all to work out. And I want to make it to 100 days. So let me actually not give him anything. Day six. Good news, everyone. The government just announced they will be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Finally, they are useful for something. We should head out to get those crates as soon as possible. Grabbing some protection gear might not be a bad idea. That actually was the reason why I didn't want to give Timmy the gas mask. You know, when I was actually like going through the items, I was like, should I give him the mask? I don't think so because this scenario might pop up and all we did was lose the gas mask. Wow. I'm a freaking, nope, never mind. I was going to say I'm a pinche pendejo, but we got two waters and two soup. Hey, okay. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your door and claiming that they take from the rich and give to the poor. I'm a rich bitch in this bunker. Look at all that stuff. I'm definitely not letting anybody in because you know that they're robbing my ass. But Timmy's back and he's sad and he has a little bit of the shit under his nose, but it is what it is. And he brought back two water. Okay, okay. I'll take that. So, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna keep him going? I kind of want to keep him going. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. You know what? Fuck Auntie Ada! I'm gonna send out Ted this time to go exploring. I just want to make sure that we can get a Mutant Mary Jane scenario, and I think that Timmy's leaving the bunker, right? No, he didn't leave the bunker. Wow. Day 15, everybody. Father is back. He is sick, but luckily for me, I have the med kit. He brought back one water, actually two waters, and one can of soup. This dude's a bitch. Okay, let's heal him, and then let's prepare to scavenge. And time to listen to some radio chatter. Maybe we will pick up on some useful shred of info on how to get out of this mess. Um, no thanks. I'm good. I think that's the start of the military ending. But we're going to send out Timmy one more time, because we have nothing to lose with this kid. And Ted is healthy and fine and dandy. And we are going to send him out. And he better come back with some good stuff. I'm not getting any Mutant Mary Jane scenarios. 
I think I might have to restart this. Okay, so I just restarted the playthrough about four times because I was not getting any type of Mutant Mary Jane scenarios, but this is the spider scenario, and as everybody knows, this is potentially a way to get Mutant Mary Jane, so not doing anything. Hopefully she turns into a mutant because it'll help me. It'll really help me. Come on now, please. Jackass. No! All right, everybody. I got the spider scenario again. Let me cross my fingers and clench my butt cheeks. Come on now. I'm clenching my ass cheeks. Give me Mutant Mary Jane. What the heck? Why? Why does this keep happening? Okay, another spider scenario on day two of like my millionth run. I don't expect anything from this. I don't expect to see a purple beast. And we still didn't see a purple beast. Okay, so we have another spider scenario. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, Mary Jane, turn into a mutant for me. It's day 46, and she didn't turn into a mutant. Okay, everybody. So it's day 100. So now the journey to another 100 begins so we can get to 200. I have Pancake. I have Dolores, who is on an expedition right now because I have no more food. And we are gonna give Ted the good stuff. And we peeked out of the shelter for a moment. We thought that we were dead. A huge, hairy, mutated spider was approaching our door. We calmed down when we heard the familiar voice of a hunter we helped a while back. Thanks to our aid, she was able to track down this spider and tame it. She brought some food along. No clue if it was spider meat, but we shared a nice, filling meal and even got to pet the spider. It was educational. Okay, well, are you going to give me any more soup? Like, what does that even mean? That doesn't mean shit. I don't want to have dinner with a spider if you're not going to give me any leftovers. But anyway, like I said, it's day 101, and we found some weird mushrooms growing on one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter. It is. It's freaking hilarious how much of a joke this shit is. But Dolores is coming back for sure because the people with the four arms, they're actually um, going to make sure that we come back. And a trader offers us ammo for some cards. I will definitely take that because it'll protect us from the raiders. And Dolores came back. Let's see what she brought back. She didn't bring back shit. Wow, she didn't bring back shit. And I can't give Pancake any food. So he's gonna run away. And he's not gonna come back on day 104. It was a good run, Pancake. Oh, he's still alive, actually. What in the world? Oh, he ate the freaking thing? You can't do that. It would be a good idea to let Pancake out for a while. He's a dog. He needs a space for running and other things. So how about we send him outside for a while? Please bring back some food. Please. Two cans. Can a dog carry two cans? Please? He didn't bring back shit. This is bad, everybody. I really don't know what to do. I have to send out Ted. And if he doesn't come back, then... Uh, oh. <laughs> it's day 107. Come on, man. I need to survive, what, 93 more days? Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Yes, because we are desperate. We're desperate as shit. And Ted came back. Please tell me you brought back some food, buddy. Oh, Dolores freaking died on me. We got more water, though. Holy crap. If Dolores just hung on for a little bit, I could have gave her some food. I don't like this, everybody. I don't like what's happening. During our latest expedition, we ran into a smelly man in torn up clothes. We recognized him as Old Bum Jim. Can Old Bum Jim come in the bunker and we have an extra person to have on our side? Because I will not be able to handle the raiders when they come. And you know that they're coming. We were startled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map, we discovered some sort of safe. We're curious as to what treasure might be inside. Should we open it? Please be the med kit or more food. Anything that could help me survive, what, 77 more days? I don't think that we got anything valuable. We got a checkerboard? You might as well slap me across the face with that shit. Are you joking me? Why are we getting a checkerboard 124 days in this bitch? We need bazookas. We need Gatling guns. Day 27. So this is what it's come down to. Sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go and check it out? She and her children probably didn't make it in there, right? Right, right. That's what we tell ourselves to make us feel better. And did you all know that Ted's last name is McDougal? I didn't even know that. After all this time, I think I heard about it for soup. Four soup. I'm, I'm rich, biatch. I got four soup! Let's go! Okay, so we have all the soup and we have all the water that we need. 
all we have to do is make sure that the Raiders do not clap our cheeks. And I'm pretty sure that they want to get to clapping, right? But there's a man on our doorstep and he wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutation. He assures us we will not get sick and asks for our help. If we could provide him and his group with some supplies, they would repay us by helping us fight off the next raiding party. Let's get it. Okay, an extra line of defense. I wish that we had Dolores and Pancake because that's two more lines of defense. But as long as Ted doesn't go crazy on me and leaves the bunker, I think that we're going to be okay. 130 days in. I think this is the most I've ever survived. And this person wants water for a water chip. He can take a freaking hike. We have a situation on our hands. There's a group approaching our shelter and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Okay, so we are going to use the gun because since we have the ammo, we can use the gun twice. Every other thing is a one-time use only. Wait, what? Why did the gun break? Oh, damn it. We spoke too soon. We think the gun is broken. What do we do now? We just sit there with our thumb up my ass like Tim is already doing. Did I call him Tim? I meant Ted. Day 135, and I called Tim Ted. That's how long I've been in the bunker with him. I'm starting to call him different names. But let's give Ted some of that. And the raider camp on our street has been especially maddening lately. They're acting like real savages. We won't stand for it. Somebody should show them that the innocent survivors of the wasteland aren't just miserable victims and that someone should be us. I wish that if you did that, you can actually get rid of them for good instead of just it being like a bullshit scenario. And we lost the ax, but we won the battle. These bandits were no match for us. We quickly overpowered them and forced them out of the camp. We are quite exhausted, but it was definitely worth it. We hope they won't bother us for a while. But it says that we're almost certain there are bandits around. Running into them would be a big mistake. So does that mean that they're not coming? Look, they're right outside. So I just lost the ax for no reason if they're still out here. That is so freaking dumb. That shit doesn't make any sense at all. Like, if you're gonna fight off the bandits, why would they come back on the same day that you got rid of them? And yeah, it says, judging by the sound of gunfire and screams, it seems like a band of thugs have taken control of the area. Going out could be very risky. So that whole thing with trying to infiltrate the bandit camp, that was completely pointless because that didn't do jack shit. Oh, I'm so frustrated, everybody. We made it so far too, but we don't have any more lines of defense. Unless we can get some scenarios, please. That would make me very happy. And yeah, everybody, on day 143, they came back. But I do have the people with the mutant arms, the people with four arms and like four balls and five dicks. I think that this might be the last day that I'm alive, everybody. Unless I get some kind of scenario that'll help me. But for some reason, I'm not really getting anything. Like there's been a whole bunch of nothing and then the Raiders come. But Ted is finally not sick. But I think that this is it, everybody. Yep, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't believe we made it 147 days. I'm so disappointed. I'm so sad. That whole thing with the bandit camp, that should have at least given me another five days to live and I would have broken over the 150 mark, but it was completely pointless doing that whole thing. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we just got the cockroach scenario and I was really trying to focus hard because I've been through all these days so many times. So I was just laser focused and Mary Jane just turned into a mutant and we're on day 109. I think we might be able to do this, everybody. I think we might be able to do this. Holy crap, my heart is beating so fast. It says we risked poking Mary Jane, but there was barely any reaction. Ever since she transformed, she's just been staring at the wall, smiling insanely. Maybe a good old fashioned chat will work. After all, it's not like she's a weird mutant now. Oh wait, she is. The idea still stands. Should we chat with her? No, because last time we chatted with her, she left the bunker. And I said I will never make that mistake again. So there you go. Holy crap, everybody. Yeah, my heart is beating so fast. I think that we can do this in this run because we have Mutant Mary Jane. We still have a bunch of food and water and the bandits, they're not coming. Okay, so I'm running into a bit of a situation here. I'm on day 129 and we're running out of food and water, but that's not the problem. The problem is I'm only getting random notes now. I'm getting no scenarios for some reason. It's like I'm all situationed out. Like I'm getting no scenarios where I can choose anything. So I don't know if this is a glitch or the game is like, all right, no more for you. But look at this. I keep getting either this one where I start the military ending or I don't get shit at all. So I have no idea what to do. 
Should I just start sending out Mary Jane to scavenge? Like, watch this, everybody. It's day 132. Let's see if I get a scenario that isn't for the endings that I can get. Let's see. Yeah, see? More random notes. I don't know what to do. I keep getting random notes after, like, day 115. I stopped getting scenarios that can help me get more food and water. And all I'm getting are random notes or the military transmission ending. Watch this, look. Since Mary Jane turned into, well, we really don't know what she is. We're not even sure if she's herself anymore. She's been smiling all the time, but no one really tried to talk to her. No one dared. Should we try? No, don't even try. Don't even breathe too loud around her or else she's gonna go Hulk mode. Oh, what? What? We didn't do anything about the situation, and in the morning, Mary Jane was gone. So was the door she smashed, and we didn't see that coming. Also, we need to repair that door. What? Before, we talked to her, and she did that exact same thing. So now we don't talk to her, and she left anyway. It's kind of like a coin flip. You have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm actually amazed by that, everybody. <laughs> It's like we don't talk to Mary Jane, she leaves. We talk to Mary Jane, she leaves. It's like make up your mind, girl. All right, everybody. This is my new record. 150 days in, but I'm in a bit of a fucky-wucky right now because, look, I only have half a can of soup left. So that's 10 more days. So that's up to, what, day 160? So I think what I need to do is I need to prepare to scavenge because I had that situation locked in where those mutants with four arms are gonna make sure that I come back safe and sound. But what if I don't come back with any soup? Then I'm dead dead, right? So what I need to do, maybe in a couple more days, I'm gonna prepare to scavenge, and then we'll see what happens. And on day 153, we actually have our first raider situation. It says, we have a situation on our hands. There is a group approaching our shelter and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into, not at all. They look like they're out for blood or cans. Probably cans. This is terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. Just use the bug spray. Just spray that ass. Spray in between the eyes. Day 154, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. All right. So this is what we are going to do. I am going to wait one more day. And see, more random notes. I'm going to give her the can of soup. Prepare to scavenge. And then by the time she comes back... I hope that I have something good. So let's give her that. Prepare to scavenge. And yeah, more random notes. So as you get higher in the days, that's all that happens. You just keep getting random notes and probably raider situations. So let's send out Dolores and we are not gonna use anything. We do have the lock so we can lock the shelter. And let's see what time she gets back. Please be like day 163. Day 161? Oh, she got more soup, let's freaking go. All right. So she got two soup, two water, and let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. But it seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe, maybe it's not. We don't know until we go out. Okay. I will say something about this 200 days challenge, everybody. If you are attempting to do this as well, make sure that you have that gas mask because one of the only scenarios that I've been getting is the one where Dolores has stank ass and she needs to shower or else she'll get sick. If I don't have a reusable gas mask, I'm so effed in my A. I'm gonna show you all the next time I get that scenario. It's probably gonna happen right now. Day 169. We have a situation on our hands. There is a group approaching our shelter and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Okay, well, let's use the axe to get rid of them. And how come I'm not getting any other situations besides that? I don't understand that. And there you go, everybody. On day 170, it says the problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. So I think we have to wash our ass every few days once you get in the hundreds of this challenge. So make sure that you have a gas mask because you can reuse it every single time and you won't get sick. Day 176, and there's more people outside. We are going to use the gun. I don't know why I can't use the other weapons that I have. Like, I have this, but for some reason, it's not letting me use it. Ugh. I'm getting nervous now everybody it's day 180 i'm pretty sure that the raiders are gonna come back anytime soon and people might be wondering why is the gun fixed well i just had a scenario where if you help out the lady that needs ammo because she's hunting spiders and then you listen to the radio after a while she can actually help you repair the gun so that's the reason why the gun is repaired and I'm just crossing my freaking fingers that we don't get any more alerts about the Raiders. Because I only have the lock, and I only have the gun, and then I have the mutant people with the four arms. For some reason, it's not letting me use the freaking music thing. So, this is so stupid. 
and I don't understand it. I think it's glitched, to be honest, because it's not popping up in the scenarios. And here we go, everybody. Day 184, the Raiders are back at the door. We got the gun. You know what I mean? That's the kind of shit that I'm on. Day 185, let's go. 15-day countdown, everybody. But we got an axe. Wait. The gunfight was intense, but our position gave us the advantage we needed to drive those thugs away. One of them even lost an axe while retreating. We'll make sure it's used for all the right reasons, specifically not robbing us. I can't believe that. We got lucky. It's got to be our lucky day. There is no way that we have ever done that, and then we got a weapon in return. At least not that I can remember, but I am also losing my freaking mind right now, so I don't remember anything anymore. <laughs> Please look. They're back. It hasn't even been two days. It hasn't even been two days and they're back. This game does not want me to get to 200 days. It's day 187. There's no way that they can keep coming back, right? There's no way. Wow. They came back. Back to back to back days, everybody. Like, what do you want me to do? That's freaking stupid. I honestly cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. They came back to back to back days. It's like this game doesn't want you to survive 200 days. That's so stupid. I'm actually going to leave the bunker. Because I think that I can actually come back. I do have the lock on the bunker. So that means I should be able to come back. But let's see what happens. Please tell me I'm not doing something stupid. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. All right. We got back. And we got an axe, baby. Holy shit. Did I just do something freaking crazy and it paid off? I think it did. I can't believe I freaking did that and I actually came back. I was nervous that that was going to be one of the dumbest things I've ever done in this game. But please tell me that was clutch as shit. Please tell me that was clutch as shit. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Day 198, everybody. Come on now. Stop playing with me, game. No edit J's in the building. No more edits from this point on. Come on. Come on. Look, another shower scenario. Back to back days. Her ass stinks. Day 199. My goodness, I can't believe this. I've been trying to get this for so freaking long. All right, um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually just gonna do this just in case. Just in case she dies from hunger or some shit. But we made it to 200 freaking days. Holy crap. I cannot believe that. My heart is beating so damn fast. Oh my goodness. You don't know how long I've been trying to do this, but the Raiders are back, everybody. And we got the ax. And we're just going to try to survive as long as we can. Because 200 is not enough for me. We're going to go as long as we can. Day 205, there's a knock at the door. We're just going to use the lock. And I think that's pretty much it, everybody. I think that the Raiders are going to come one more time. Maybe today. Let's see. Maybe they're going to come right now? Um, no. But I'll click that. I'll click that scenario. And I think that was a good run, everybody. I'm never attempting this again. This is my record right here. And I'm never going to break it for as long as I play this game. Because that's all, folks. And yeah, that's it, everybody. 208 days. I'll take it. Wait, what? 209? What just happened? Hold on. They let me live. Dolores got a nasty injury during the fight. We hope she will be all right, but we probably need to take care of that wound. Okay. My bad. 200 days in and she learned some self-defense. I see you, Dolores. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we actually made it farther than 209 days. 210 days. I'll take it. I'll take anything at this point. Day 219. I don't know why the Raiders aren't coming for me anymore. I guess Dolores punched them so hard in the face that they're not coming back. Which is good for me, because I'm just going to keep going as long as I can. The only thing that's pretty upsetting about this whole thing is that you have no more scenarios where you can potentially get items. Because at some point, I think this game is just like, fuck it. We're not going to give them anything else anymore. But look at this shower scenario. I've gotten that at least 50 times. All right, this is it for sure, everybody. Day 224. This is where I say sayonara. What? 225? What is going on? Is Dolores punching these fools in the face? We were not able to push the attackers back, but for some reason they left. They could have taken everything and killed everyone, but they just stopped their attack and turned back. Either we got lucky or this is a prelude to something much worse. What do you mean? What is going on right now? How come I never got all that shit before? Every time there was a raider and I had nothing before, they were always up my asshole. But now, now they just turn back for no reason? Okay. I'm pretty sure this is it for sure, everybody. 229 days in, right? What? What is going on? 
Oh, shit, they robbed me. Oh, wow. We couldn't hold the attackers off, and they stormed the shelter. They had enough mercy to let us live, but they had no second thoughts about robbing us and taking everything we owned. All right. Well, I'm dead. I am dead for sure. <laughs> because I need water. And that's all, folks. Okay, so that's how it ends. I survived for 230 days. The raiders said, enough attacking. We're just going to get to stealing. And they said, you're not going to drink any more water. So that's how we died. I can't believe that. Wow. 231 days to be exact, everybody. That was insane. That was one of my best runs I've ever had. Look, only four expeditions. 231 days survived. 21 waters consumed. 22 soup consumed. And times we had to defend our shelter was nine. That's not that bad. But yeah, like I said, everybody, anyone attempting to do this, trying to get to 200 or more days, don't go on expeditions that much. Go on maybe two in the beginning and then try to survive as long as you can. I let Timmy die off really early because I was like, there's no point in feeding and giving water to an extra person if he's not going to be useful to me. And then I decided I didn't want to get pancake. And what else? What's another thing? Um, make sure you bring that gas mask, like I said. And when you scavenge before you go in the bunker, try to get as much water and soup as you can because you might need that for a very long period of time. But that is gonna do it for the 200 days challenge in 60 seconds. I can't believe your boy actually got it. I was starting to doubt myself, but you know what? We never give up. And that's why we got to what, 231 days? Hopefully you all enjoyed this though. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!